and said once again, what beautiful music we have. That's yeah. beautiful auditory music. Huh? Elder Brett, uh, Richard will bring us the, the story time. Some moon, full moon out, and 
It was really nice, a little cold, a little chillier up there than it is here in Florida. But we had Jack. And the ranger, when he was done, he said, do you have any questions? Well, some man raised his hand and says, are there any bears around here? Well, the ranger laughed, oh yes, up in the mountains there are bears and stuff, but you don't have to worry about in the campground, no bears. <laughs> so that made everybody, especially the mommies, all happy that they didn't have to worry about it. So that evening, we went to an our, to our little campfire out, uh, and then we got in our sleeping bags in the tents, and we all went to sleep. Well, during the night, there was kind of a rattling outside. And my father thought, well, if Uncle Zip, what's he doing, getting up to eat something? So he kind of unzipped the tent and looked out, and sure enough, there was Uncle Zip. He, he was outside the tent. But you know what, over the picnic table, there was a big bear. And he was trying to get the cooler open. And he did. Got the cooler open. You know what he was looking for? Well, maybe he was looking for steak and that, but we were vegetarians. So there wasn't any steak there. And Uncle Zip was saying, had his little flashlight and said, shoo, shoo, shoo. The bear kind of looked at him. The bear reached into the cooler and he pulled out a bag of oranges. He took a big paw and went, and the oranges just went all over. And Uncle Zip kind of dodged <laughs> took a step back. But he's kind of going, shh, shh. The bear reached in the cooler again and took a big bag of potatoes. And Uncle Zip realized at that time, he better get leave. So as he was diving back into his tent, the bear took his big paw and went, and potatoes went all over. And then he left. Down all through the evening, you could hear him go from camp set to camp set, getting in the coolers and people yelling, shh, shh, shh. So we didn't get much sleep that night. Well, the next day, guess what we did? We went and talked to the reindeer. Well, what's going on with that? Oh, the reindeer oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> we take him, we catch him, we take him away, several miles away. And, but after about a month, he finds his way back. So we'll catch him tonight, and you won't have to worry about it. So that was good. But we prayed that, we were thankful that the angel had kept us, because the bear could have done something bad to the people, but the angel was protecting us while the bear was there.